Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. In today's video, we got some Shadowgun Legends news. We will talk about a couple things. First of all, we'll talk about the drop rate. Then we'll talk about the item's power because we got some news yesterday from the Facebook group and from the Reddit group. So let's start with the drop rates. When the update 0.5.0 came out, it seemed like we had a pretty good drop rate on the legendaries. If you remember, I streamed for about seven hours and a half and I dropped two legendaries by farming hive mine non-stop with two of my friends. Two legendaries in about eight hours. It is a bit high because I've been farming for five weeks to get my previous legendary, the Nico Stopper. Overall, I've been playing the game for two months and I've been farming a lot of dungeons and I had only three legendaries in two months. Legendaries are supposed to be super hard to get and that's what make them so special. So after the recent update, it felt like the drop rate was very generous in hive mind. So we can think that maybe the drop rate was upped a little bit. Only 48 hours after the update, I had a feeling the drop rate was secretly nerfed and not just a little bit. It felt like it was even worse than before the 0.4 update. And then they did make an update and we started finally seeing some legendaries because it was like impossible to find legendaries before. And we start seeing some, but it was still pretty rare, but at least it was available. But after 0.5, it was probably a bit higher than they thought. And they said, we look at our analytics and it seems like legendaries were dropping too much. But I have one thing to say because the analytics, they don't know everything. Some people, or some players have found a bug in hive mine where they could just force quit and respawn at the chest and reopen the chest so they would have infinite legendaries so of course the analytics will show there's too many legendaries but it's not just because of the drop rate it's because of the freaking bug and the exploit right but it doesn't mean the drop rate was way too high the analytics just take the number of drops and they ring a bell something's wrong and then they nerfed the drop rate like crazy. So here's the post from Yakub on the Facebook group yesterday. So he says, hey guys, so about the drop rate, the rate is currently set exactly to what it was before the update 0.5.0. Now I doubt that a lot guys. It is probably lower than before 0.5.0. And I felt something was wrong right away. We realized that many of you appreciated the very generous drop shortly after the update hit. But our analytics told us that this is not the way to go. We almost destroyed the rarity of certain items by allowing it to drop so often. So what we did is to introduce a compromise. Coming 0.5.1, we will slightly increase the drop rate without sacrificing the sense of wonder you get when you find a legendary piece of armor or weapon. So there's two things here. First of all, Yes, it was a bit generous because playing legit, I got two legendaries in eight hours and my friends were getting like four or five at the same time. And then you could just farm for a couple weeks and have all the legendaries in hive mind, not even a couple weeks, maybe one week of dedicated play and you will have all the legendaries. So where's the fun after that, right? But don't tell me it's exactly like it was before because I felt like Voltaic Fist is just dropping blues and greens and you almost don't see purples. People have been farming Silver Arena and it's all blue. Like the purples are very rare right now. Now they say they will increase it. So that is very good news. However, when is it going to be? I would like to have a date, of course. Um, it is not very fun to farm right now because you don't get much in return. So anyways, we probably all agree legendaries should be rare and this is not a bad thing and if it's too easy to get them all there's no point playing after that a second thing i want to talk about is this post on reddit yesterday madfinger games responds to a player who was asking why is it that he got a mew chaser at 245 power and not 250 like the old ones so here's the response thank you for getting in touch with us with the update version 0.5.0, we have adjusted the item power rating to reflect its rarity. The system now works so that items from the most difficult content, such as the Silver Arena or the Hive Mind Dungeon, have the highest power 
and only the really most powerful items have power 250. Items obtained from other sources have a slightly lower maximum power, but still are very strong. This way we want to keep the excitement of getting a new weapon after beating the final boss and the item being an upgrade. Now I have a problem with this guys. A legendary should be a legendary. All the legendaries should be 250 power no matter what, no matter where you find them, no matter how you got them. This is pretty bad that if you find a legendary in an older dungeon, it's gonna be 245 instead of 250. Now what the hell is this really? I don't agree with that at all. The other problem is if Voltaic Fist is the only place you can get the Mew Chaser, at least if you could get the Mew Chaser in Silver Arena or Hive Mine, so at least I would have the choice to farm where I want to go farm. But if Mew Chaser is only available in Voltaic Fist, I don't have a choice to farm this dungeon. So I think this has to change. It's my opinion. I mean, I don't see why people would disagree with that though. I mean, all legendaries should be 250 no matter what. I mean, you're talking about rarity here. And you say power should go with rarity. Like, don't give me a 245 legendary. It doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, and the last thing I want to talk about today is this last post. Again, from yesterday on the Facebook group from Yakub again. Hey guys, another announcement. If you were one of the unlucky players who purchased an armor bundle whose power rating decreased after the purchase, please contact our customer care. So this is the thing. You would go on the Willow shop or Big Red and you would have some $15 or 1500 gold bundles, a full set of armor, purple or epic, and it shows as 250 power. So just that doesn't make sense because they say power would go with rarity. You get legendary 250, you get unique epics 249 and then regular epics 244 or 248 depending on what you get. And then it goes lower with rares and uh, uncommons. So the fact that you're offering 250 power epics for sale with gold does not make sense. And even if some guys would like to pay for 250 power epics, it goes the opposite way of what was announced. They said higher power, higher rarity. You decrease the rarity, you decrease the power. And that's it. So you should not be able to buy 250 power epics. Even though you would like to get back to 250 power, like the power is just a number. It doesn't go with the actual strength of your character. It only matters on weapons because it increased the damage. But for the armor, it does not affect your own HP. Your HP is affected by your level and then your skill tree and then your perks. So no matter what you wear, if you have 244 power uh, armor, you should have the same HP on your basic stats, right? So I hope it was just a display bug that the items for sale were 250. They should not be 250, they should be 249. It's the only thing that should be fixed, I think. And you should not be allowed to buy 250 power epics. So that covers what happened yesterday on the social medias. First thing is a good news, we will have an update soon. They will fix the drop rates, they will adjust the drop rate. So hopefully we can start getting legendaries again. But also purples, because it sucks to do a lot of farming and only get blues. Especially in Silver Arena, when you will play for 20 minutes of hard work only get greens and blues so i hope the purple will go back to what they actually were before just before 0.5.0 was released and then we start seeing again legendaries but guys just don't expect to get legendaries every day it's not how it should be legendaries should still be rare and you should have to farm hundreds of dungeons to get one legendary it is how it was before 0.5.0 i was fine with that it's a lot of work it's dedication but when you get a legendary it feels awesome second thing i hope they fix the power and i hope you guys will get to understand what they meant to do with the power they said at the start it was a mistake that everything was 250 only legendary should be 250 and last thing please mad finger games if you're listening to me all legendaries should be 250 no exception and no matter where you get them they are rare they are hard to find and they should be powerful don't give me a 245 legendary please 
So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really, I want to hear from you guys. Type in the comments what you think about all that. What's the best thing you should do for us? I read all the comments, so can't wait to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. See you guys soon.